What is going on guys, DBG here, and today we're actually making a positive video for all you guys that are saying, oh DBG, all you do is complain about 2k. We're making a little bit of a positive video, or at least a video with a more positive outlook in general. Because with stuff like this, it all really, really just depends on like the long-term ramifications of it. Because something like this could end up being good long term. Something like this could end up being, well, it can't be bad long term. I don't necessarily think it is. And there's one thing that I really like what 2K have done is that for the first time they have actually like adjusted something that is like horrifically awful and made it a lot more reasonable. A lot more reasonable. Because, and I also do want to, um, May have a shout out to the people that say complaining will get you nowhere because if we didn't complain this wasn't going to change and it's the rush agendas first of all like I, I don't hate the rush agendas right now like when it came to this and like what's it Ty, myself and Ty both made the same point like his video our videos are like two minutes of each other so a lot of the time like we're going to be talking we both made the same point that there would be nothing to complain about when it came to this and the length of the grinds if it wasn't a one week timer. And what I said was it should be till the end of the season. What I have a feeling 2K are gonna do is every second week, rush packs are gonna be a thing. That is my theory because of what they changed it to. My theory is that every second week, rush packs are going to be a thing when it comes to, uh, when it comes to my team. But either way, um, what 2K did was good. They gave us, they're now giving us two weeks to do this Jerry Stackhouse grind. Like, we're well not Jerry Stackhouse to do, effectively Jerry Stackhouse. Yeah, because that's, it, it's gonna take 12 hours. Cause you can't stack. Splash was basically saying you can't stack. And then, um, like some people are saying, oh, play unlimited. And started off by saying, let's trade three dunks first. Let's trade three dunks first. I'm getting better at using H's, lads, in words. Um, which, like, you're going to get the three dunks in Unlimited game. No matter how badly you're getting cooked, you're going to get three dunks with a player. If you're destroying somebody, you're going to get it. If it's a close game, you're going to get it naturally. And you're also going to um, almost certainly get it if it's a blowout. Because, like, it is what it is. Getting dunks is very, very easy. All you have to do is get a switch and a mismatch, drop step, and standing dunk on somebody with a center. It's very, very easy. Um... So it, it just, it changes the entire optics on this. Like 12 hours over the course of two weeks is very different than 12 hours over the course of seven days. Um, but um, that is one of the, uh, that is again, one of the good things about this is that it changes completely. It changes absolutely everything in terms of like how, uh, terms of just the optics of it all because it becomes doable like as somebody it's not going to be capable of who's not going to be especially when you guys see what my next video is going to be on the main channel like it's a 24 hour long challenge like i'll be playing 24 hours of the game so that's kind of what my challenge is going to be for the main channel so i'm like i've got to make or for the main channel so i gotta play 24 hours and then just to get these cards on my account, it's gonna take a while. Don't get me wrong, it's gonna take quite a while to do all this. So you're looking easily at um, something that I wouldn't be able to do previously. But if I have a bit of time at the weekend, I might just bang out some of these challenges. Heck, play 50 in unlimited games. That might just force me into getting Michael Porter Jr. on this account. So the two week timer makes this a encouragement of playing the game and not a oh crap this is too high a mountain to climb i'm not going to do it like for some people it is for some people it's going to be for some people 12 hours is too long for this i don't think 12 hours in general is too long for arguably the best point guard in the game and a top five power forward in the game i actually don't think it's too long the problem was the 12 hours in seven days like when it comes to it and you're having to play two hours of the game every single day and we also have Friday, whatever the hell's coming Friday. 
um, and other stuff, it really does turn into a situation where it becomes overwhelming. But what I like about this is that um, something that previously, it's not as overwhelming anymore. And that's what I always used to say about um, grinds in 2K, as that it should be a collection of small grinds to make a bigger grind. And I actually think that is kind of it. Like, first of all, if these cards, if 2K, all they have to do, by the way, is just give these guys quick releases and mediocre dribble styles like they do every other year. And none of the even original complaints would be justified because LeMond would be insane. Taddy's Young would be insane. Danny Manning would be insane. He'd be insane. He'd be, eh. He'd be, eh. And he'd be, eh. The rest of the four of the cards would be insane. And we'd be looking at, like, even just going and getting the budget guys would be still an absolute elite. Um... But yeah, that is the big thing when it comes to uh, when it comes to my team in general. But um, yeah, I like it. I like it, and I think that as somebody who does make a lot of videos criticizing the mode, um, when 2K do something well, I think it's also my responsibility to talk about some of the good things that 2K do. And this is better. Is it as good as it could be? No. Like, would making these for the remainder of the season or making these lifetime agendas, if they made these lifetime agendas, that would be insane. Like, by the way, if, if all of the free cards were lifetime agendas, it would change so much in my team. Like, that's one of the things that people kind of don't get is that uh, if... For example, the TMAC grind. If the TMAC grind, if the Chet grind, or Chet grind is lifetime genesis. If the TMAC grind was lifetime, if this grind was lifetime, if the, um, if all the grinds just never went away, like so many of the cards become worthless. Like who cares about being able to grind for a Trey Young right now? But if a new player suddenly boots in, they're doing a bunch of things, and suddenly a Trey Young flashes on screen, a bunch of the free cards flashing on screen, it would make so it would improve the game so much. It would actually improve it so much. And but if this is lifetime, and I know you can double up and triple up on challenges, who gives a damn? In, a, in two months' time, if a new player gets this pink diamond, Jaron Jackson Jr., it's not going to change the game. I'm going to stop and spend the money. But like, I think Cheap Blue has made this point: challenges should not expire. Agenda should not expire. And it would be genuinely like um, one of the just biggest things um, in the game. But this is still better than it was. I think, again, um, like talking about it, I have to talk about something positive at least considering how negative it has been over the last while and... This is pretty damn good, I'm not gonna lie.